Hello, everyone. Good morning, all of you. Good morning, sir. Good morning. Yeah, very good morning, everyone. Happy Saturday, all of you. Wish you the same. Sir. Yeah, all right. Thank you, sir. Same to you. Yeah. Are you able to see my screen clearly? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Okay, let's continue our class. I'm going to mute all of you for avoiding background disturbances. Let's open AWS. AWS space. Either you can Either you can select this first link, otherwise this link also you can open. Just to select here, aws.amazon.com. Log back in. Next. 82 C T S 7. Just click on four N W D five four. Just click on sub that is three eight five Y F six. Yeah, now it is correct. Just click on sub. We are in Mumbai region. Our instance is running in, in this Mumbai region. I mean India. Just click on EC2. So this is our instance. Just select start instance. Successfully, we have started. Just reload. It will take some time. Cloud computing is very, very fast. For starting computers, restarting, rebooting, stopping, again starting, it will take very, very less time. That is the reason nowadays each and every company, they are using cloud. That too, our computers are always safe. Computers, data, everything is highly available and highly secure. Just click on connect. AC2 hyphen user. At the rate DNS. Control C. Just copy here. Open party. Control V. That's it. Plus button. Authentication, how you are going to authenticate your computer by selecting PPK file. Linux Mumbai, PPK file. Open. Access. Right now, I am just one normal user. That is easy type of user. I would like to make myself as a root user so that I can execute all commands without having any Permission problems. I would like to switch from ac typhon user to root user. I mean administrator. What is the command? sudo space yes you. Super user do switch user. Now I am a root user. That means right now I am an administrator. Previously I was a just a normal user. Normal user name here ac typhon user. This is username. This is username. But this is folder name. Names are exactly same. But here this is username. This is just a folder name. Please remember. Now I am going to execute all commands as an administrator, as a root user. How to clear the screen? 
CLD here. Otherwise, control L. I just want to see how many files, how many folders I have created instead of this is a type of user folder. Just type here ls. Four files and two directories we have created. In our yesterday's class, we have created directory structure. I mean one folder inside another folder. One folder inside one more folder. Like this we have created. Return. This is like a directory C. Next, this is directory B. Next, this is directory A. Directory A, directory B, directory C. These are the three folders we have created. Now I would like to enter instead of directory C. How can we enter? I just want to execute only one command. That is CD. CD means a change directory. I would like to change a folder from this folder to I am going to type here directory A forward slash Linux or Unix everything is forward slash but Windows everything is backward slash directory B. Instead of this directory B yes we have directory C. Just press enter. That means I am changing folder location from this folder to directly I will be entering instead of directory C. Just press enter. That's it. Right now, my location is instead of directory C. If you want to verify exactly where is your location, right now, where are you? If you want to verify, just to type here PWD. PWD means present working directory. Otherwise, it will print working directory. I mean working folder. Where is our working folder right now? Directory C. Directory C is available instead of directory B. Directory B is available instead of directory A. Directory A is available instead of EC type and user folder. EC type and user folder is available where? Instead of home folder. Home folder is available where? Under top level root directory. Only this first slash. That is top level root directory. Remaining slashes. Just segregators. Again, I would like to go back. CD space double dot. That means one step going back side. Again, forward slash double dot. Second step also going back side. Again, forward slash double dot. Three steps we are moving back side. Going to previous folder. Again, I came back to my normal location. Easy to type and user. If you want to if you want to verify right now, where are you? What is your location? Again, just type here PWD, present working directory. Right now, here you can see this EC2 iPhone user is this EC2 iPhone user. Whatever here you can see, exactly same one. This folder only, here also you can see nothing more than that. One step, I would like to go back. I just want to go to previous folder, CD space double dot. Here you can see, right now I am in home folder. Once if I type PWD, here you can see my location is under top level root directory. There is one folder called home. Instead of that folder, right now I am available. For example, if I create any file, otherwise if I create any directory here, that file, otherwise that directory will be created instead of this home folder. That is the meaning of this one. I would like to Go back one more step. CD space double dot. Right now, my location is under top level root directory. This is exactly equals to C drive when it comes to Windows. Once if I type ls, here you can see instead of this top level root directory, all these folders are available. All these folders are related to operating system. By mistake, also, we should not delete, we should not touch. Here, if you want to verify, where are you? Where is your location? Just press PWD. Just press. Did you observe? 
right now my location is under top level rooted for example here if i create any folder that folder will be created here itself you can see so many folders along with these many folders you can see one more new folder whatever i am going to create i mean in case if you create again i would like to come back to normal position for this easy type of user how can we go back how can we come inside ec typhon user ec typhon user folder is available where instead of home folder that is the reason first you go instead of home folder and then forward slash here ec2 hyphen user that's it now my location is instead of this ec typhon user fill the space double dot once if i type ls here you can see this is also just one folder we are entering instead of this folder very simple i just want to clear the screen control l each and every command you have to practice multiple times while listening my recording videos you just practice okay so that it will be very very simple and easy easily you can understand next here i want to see for example if i type ls you can see only two folders and four files but instead of this directory a you can see some other folders correct or not but here you cannot see inside of folders you cannot see internal folders if you want to see internal folders there is one more command we have to execute but that command once if i execute that command everything you can see in a tree structure do you know tree for example mango tree Hmm? any tree apple tree like that i mean so many branches tree we have multiple branches exactly the same way i just want to see everything in a tree structure if you want to see files and folders in a tree structure first we have to install one software we have to install one software in windows we call it as software but when it comes to linux here we call it as package P A C K A G package. Package means one software. Softwares means plural. Packages means plural. Okay, multiple softwares. Let me install. Windows already you know how to install, how to download one software, how to install. For example, let's consider VLC Media Player. So how to download VLC Media Player? Do you know? just come here here you just type vlc media player once if i press enter otherwise here you can see below vlc player download once if i type enter here you can see some of the links by selecting any of these links very well we get download once if you select it will get to download once after downloading once if you double click automatically that software will be installed in your computer after that very well you can buy but when it comes to linux here we have to execute commands everything is command this command you have to execute yum yum means yellow dog update modifier yellow dog update modifier that is a meaning yum install install means installing what you, sorry what you want to install one software that software name is a tree that software name itself is a tree next to here space hyphen by for example if i don't give hyphen by what will happen just to press enter so that you can understand during run time it will wait for my permission for example if i give like this hyphen by during run time it will not wait for my permission because in this command here itself i have given permission yes you can proceed proceed to install the software yum is the command we have to we have to use if you want to update your operating system if you want to install if you want to uninstall any software in this computer yum is the command we have to use just press enter without why i will execute just press here you can see right now we are installing the software during run time it is waiting for my permission hey hari do you want me to proceed or not here once if i type y that means yes please proceed to install the software 
I have given permission. Successfully, we have installed. Which software? Tree software. Here you can see complete. If you want to uninstall, how can you uninstall? Yum, R E Yum Bo B. Yum remove three minus one. Here only I am giving permission. Just to press enter. Like this, we can uninstall. Did you observe? Remove. Control here for clearing the screen. Let me install. Okay. Yum install. Three minus one. Just press. Okay. Successfully, we have installed. Control here yeah, for clearing the screen. Once if I type ls, you can see this kind of output. If I type tree command, you can see output like this. See guys, after entering ls command, here you can easily understand blue color. This is a folder. These are folders, but this is five, 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 five. Once after executing tree command, here everything is white color. Correct or not? Everything is white color. First of all, how can you understand by using the name? I have given directory name as dir one, dir a like. Here you can see this is folder. This is one folder. Instead of this folder, we have created one more folder. Instead of this folder, we have created one more folder. You can see in a tree structure. So that easily you can understand instead of which folder, how many subfolders are available? How many files are available? File one, file two, file three, file four. Next. In our yesterday's class, I said single dot means current directory. Current directory. Current directory. Here you can see dot. Did you observe here dot? This dot means current directory, otherwise a present directory. Directory means folder. Present folder, otherwise current folder. What is my present folder here? Use it iPhone user. I mean, all these folders and all these files are available there instead of this EC Typhon user folder. Here, dot is representing this EC Typhon user folder. Here, dot is representing this folder. Instead of this folder, all these subfolders are available and these files are available. That is the meaning. That is the meaning of dot. Dot means current directory. You can see total how many directories? Four. Directory 1, Directory A, Directory B, Directory C. Four folders. And how many files? Four files. File 1, File 2, File 3, File 4. All these are available where? Instead of user type and user folder. That is the reason here you can see dot. Dot means current directory. Next. I would like to create one more folder structure. This time, I just want to create multiple folders. One by one. One folder inside another folder. For example, this is directory B. Just one minute. Okay. Next, inside, inside this directory B. I just want to create one more folder. It is like a directory W. Inside one more. Directory X. Inside again one more. It is like a directory Y. Directory Y. Again, inside one more folder. It is directory Z. V, W, X, Y, Z. One folder inside another folder. I just want to create like this. 
let's create how can we create what is the syntax mk dir hyphen p otherwise even you can call it as minus this is the flag we have to use this directory v what is the top level directory here top level folder directory v. forward slash directory w forward slash directory x forward slash directory y again forward slash directory z like this. folder inside another folder just to press enter successfully we have created this folder structure if you want to verify just type ls but here you can see only top level folder if you want to see all folders subfolders everything then you just execute three command here you can understand clear here dot means current directory that is ac hyphen user folder instead of this folder directory one directory a directory b i mean instead of this directory a you can see directory b directory c instead of directory b directory w directory x directory y directory z and these are the files everything is available here this is the advantage tree command is really very very useful if you want to work with this command first we have to install tree software then only this tree command will work otherwise it will not work control l for clearing the screen just to type here tree. now we will see how to copy already you people know how to copy when it comes to windows here you can see for example i would like to copy this folder how can you copy just to right click here you can say somewhere properties not properties yeah show more options here you can see copy once if i select this folder will be copied after that you can paste how can you paste again just to right click somewhere you can see hmm? paste once if i copy we can see paste okay but i did not copy that is the reason you cannot see paste option your people already know how to paste and how to copy here also exactly same simple this is the syntax you have to follow copy how can you do that one cp is the command cp this is source and this is destination source and destination this is source and this is destination source is like a it could be file otherwise it could be folder folder means i mean directory but destination it should be folder correct or not windows also exactly same you can copy one file you can paste instead of one folder exactly the same way you can copy one folder you can paste instead of one folder but it is not possible to paste either file or folder instead of one file you just compare with windows it could be file or it could be folder destination should be folder exactly same like windows this is the syntax we have to follow here cp source file name or folder name and then folder name destination let's do the practicals all these things we use after joining the company here you can see cp is the command next which one you want to copy for example here you can see file one file one you just type a file one this is source space where you want to paste destination it should be directory i mean folder directory one it is just copy and paste copy paste means it is like a control c and control v it is not control x and control v once after executing this command that file here also you can see as well as inside this folder also you can see just press enter 
that's it once if i type ls normally you can see like this if i type tree command you can see file one is available here as well as inside of this folder also you can see file one like this you can see otherwise what you can do you just type type ls you just go inside of directory one how can you go how can you enter instead of directory one cd space directory one just press enter that's it now you just type ls here you can see file one either by executing this command you can see output otherwise you just go inside of that folder then just type ls you can see file here whatever the way you feel comfortable you can follow that way again i would like to come back how can you come back cd space double dot that's it. i would like to clear the screen control here very simple again just type tree command either file or folder exactly same syntax no difference no difference now i would like to do paste operation how can you paste and how can you cut here you can see in windows also you can see this option either folder otherwise file you can see cut that means control x it is like a, it is cut off and paste either that file or folder syntax series this is cut and paste syntax mv 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 means move this is source and this is destination source destination source it could be a file or it could be a folder same you just compare with windows and a destination it should be folder inside file it is not possible to paste correct or not here yeah. source it could be file or folder but destination it should be folder mv means move just follow this syntax now we'll execute this command mv space for example file 2 here you can see file 2 file 2 space what is the destination let's say destination is directory 1 dir 1 once if i execute this command this file 2 will be disappear here it will be cut off from this location only you can see this file 2 instead of directory 1 instead of directory 1 Just a present. One set of tables. Here also you cannot see file two. As well as here you cannot see. Only here you can see. Instead of directory one, you can see because this one we called as cut and paste. Previously we have done copy and paste. This is cut and paste. Either file or folder. exactly say there is no difference now let's see how can you rename windows also you can rename correct or either file otherwise folder for example i just want to rename how can you rename so more options here you can see rename you can give you can write whatever the name you like the same way here also you can change name for example i don't like change i just want to modify syntax is this is the syntax here also you have to use mv for cut and paste also mv but what is the difference yes there is a difference i will write it here that the difference mv this is for example bold name Old name. 
it is like a new name new name it could be it could be file or folder file or folder this is just old name and this is new name new name means that is not available here correct or not that is not available here new name means you are going to give new name but old name means that is already available here next this is move i mean read read cut and paste that what is the syntax syntax is same mv this is source this is source and this is destination this is destination here when it comes to cut and paste i mean i am talking about this one source is available here destination also available here destination also available here but when it comes to rename new name is not available here okay that is a difference you have to identify here source means it could be file or folder but destination should be folder here old name it could be file name or folder name new name means that is not available here you have to give we are going to give new name if destination is not available then it is like a rename if destination is already available it is like a cut and paste that is a only difference very simple let's do it now i would like to rename here you can see file three mv file three i just want to rename new name i just want to give here file 300 is not available file 300 this is old name you can see here new name we cannot see once if i execute enter button here you can see instead of file 3 you can see 300 that is the meaning of rename you can see file 300 for example cut and paste same syntax mv let's imagine here mv i would like to cut off this directory one i would like to paste instead of i would like to paste Maybe instead of directory A, instead of directory, directory A, how can you do that one? Very simple. Source is directory 1 and destination is directory A. That means the source is available, destination also available. I am going to I am going to cut off this directory one. I would like to paste instead of directory A. Just to press enter. Here you can see. Once you cut it well, outside you cannot see. But inside directory A, you can see. Here you can see. Instead of directory A, instead of directory A, you can see directory one. Instead of directory one, you can see file one and file two. Instead of this directory A, you can see here directory one as well as directory B and directory C. So this is how you can cut and paste. And just now we have seen read. Now let's see what are the commands we can use for delete operation. I just want to delete. D E L D T. And one more thing. When it comes to Windows, for example, if I delete, if I delete, I have selected this file. Here you can see token 7 pm. Once if I press delete button, only delete button, that file got deleted. But where you can see, instead of recycle bin, you can see. Just to open. Here you can see. Again, it is possible to get it back restore once if i select restore 
it is possible to get it back. Again, here you can see token 7 pm. For example, if I if I press shift to delete, permanently that file or that folder will be deleted. Once after deleting, it is not possible to get it back. For example, if it is very, very important, once if you press shift to delete, even if you cry also, there is no use after deleting permanently. That is the reason at the time of delete, at the time of doing delete operation, please take care. Think, think twice or thrice before you delete. Windows here we have recycle bin. But when it comes to Linux, here we don't have any recycle bin concept. Once if you delete, that is permanently deleted. That is permanently delete. After joining the company also, don't try to delete. For example, if you want to delete, you just take backup. What do you mean by backup? Taking the copy. See? I just want to watch one movie. Let's imagine I have downloaded it. Maybe Avatar movie, otherwise a Titanic. I have downloaded. Once after downloading, that movie will be available in this downloads folder. Even I have copied that movie and I have pasted instead of, for example, D drive. Inside this D drive. Let's imagine by mistake, I have deleted that movie, which is available instead of this downloads folder. Still, I can watch that movie because Already, I took backup for that movie. Okay, let's imagine. That is the meaning of backup. Backup means same copy, same file or folder or movie. Otherwise, maybe photo, picture. It could be anything. It is available in multiple locations. D drive, C drive, E drive, F drive, downloads, desktop. Exactly the same. Here also, how can you do copy like this? File 1 is available here. File 1 here also available. That is the meaning of copy. It could be file or it could be folder. In case if you want to delete, some commands are available. Deleting only file, we have one separate command. Deleting only directly, we have one separate command. I mean, this is empty. Empty folder. Exactly the same way. Deleting directory, but it is non-empty. Non-empty. Non-empty means instead of this folder, maybe some other folders are available. Otherwise, maybe some files are available. This is non-empty. For deleting this non-empty folder, we have one more command. I mean, different different commands are available for deleting file, deleting empty directory, deleting non-empty directory. But as of now, you don't think about all these different different commands. I will tell you one command. This command will work everywhere. With this command, you can delete file, empty directory, non-empty directory. Everything you can delete. That command is rm space minus rf or f. rm space minus rf. rm means remove. rm means remove. Here, R means recursive. Recursive. What is the meaning of recursive? Recursive means one folder inside some other folders, otherwise maybe in some other files. It is like this. Recursive means folder inside folder, otherwise folder inside files. Recursively, everything will be deleted. Everything will be deleted. Here, F means forceful delete. Forcefully. R means remove. R means here recursively. Recursive. F means here forcefully. By using this command, you can delete anything. This command works everywhere. Let me execute this command. Here you just observe. I would like to delete directory one. Directory one is available where, first of all, instead of directory. Correct, Anna? Right now, where is my location? PWD. Once if you execute this command, so that you can understand. Otherwise, by looking here also, you can understand. By looking here, 
if you are unable to understand maybe if you are getting some kind of confusion that time very well you can execute this command this command will show you that your present working directory right now your location is is it type and user folder inside of this folder how many folders how many files are available you can see directory a directory here directory one is available where directory a correct anna now what we have to do we have to go inside how can you go inside cd space directory a here you just observe dot means current directory here which is our current directory is it hyphen user folder all these folders all these files are available instead of is it hyphen user folder only that is the meaning of dot current working directory current directory just press enter right now just now we have entered instead of directory if you want to verify the location just type pwd you can see directory just type ls inside how what are the folders you can see directory 1 and directory b if you want to see tree structure yes very well you can execute tree command here also here it will show you instead of this directory a two folders are available those are directory 1 and directory b instead of this directory 1 you can see two files instead of this directory b you can see one more folder my requirement is i just want to delete directory 1 very well you can delete here you can see what is my current directory in this scenario directory a is my current directory here dot is representing this dot is representing this directory a now i just want to delete how can you delete rm space minus rf directory name directory 1 once if i delete this folder instead of this folder whatever the files whatever the folders are available everything will be deleted just press enter that's it if i type ls you can see only directory if i type a tree command you can see only directory b inside directory c if you want to come out yes very well you can come out cd space double dot again just type ls you can see like this tree command yeah this kind of folder structure we can see. successfully we have deleted previously we were able to see something like this inside but right now you can see only directory a directory b directory c or ah, this is how you can delete if you want now i would like to create i would like to create something just to press here tree command t r e folder structure i will write you just observe here you can see ac2 hyphen user that means this one ac2 hyphen user means i am talking about this folder otherwise i am talking about this folder they both are same inside this folder so many files so many folders are available directory a next here directory b next files are available file 1 file 2 file 2 is not there so already we have deleted it file 300 already we have renamed that file next file is file file 4 you can see directory a directory b next file 1 file 300 file 4 all these are available where instead of ec type and user folder that is this one now okay. instead of this directory a you can see some other folders directory b next directory c instead of this directory b we have directory w next directory x inside directory y inside directory z these many folders are available i mean this is completely one level 
one level. This is like a one level. This is another level. Okay, like this. So here my requirement is. Here my requirement is. I just want to create one file. I just want to create one file. Where here I would like to create. Either you can think here or here. I just want to create one file. Yeah. For example, file name is like a test file one. I just want to create one file instead of easy type and user folder. Once after creating that file, okay, first let me create. What is the command you can execute? Right now, my location is here only. Easy type and user folder. Easy, easy type and user folder. Instead of this folder, I just want to create. So here, just execute this command. Now you can see. How can you create? I just want to create one empty file. Touch test file one. Just press enter. Successfully, we have created. Here you can see. Along with these two directories, now we have total four files. Here you can see file three files, and this is just one one more file. Just now we have created. Next, my requirement is instead of this directory C, I just want to create. There you can see directory C. This is directory C. Instead of this directory C, I just want to create one file. That is like a Test file two. Where I want to create test file two instead of directory C. Instead of directory C. Very well. What you can do? Let me clear the screen. Tree command. Control L. Tree. Instead of this directory C, I just want to create. Normally, what is the process you can follow? First, to go instead of directory A. How can you go? CD directory A. Just press enter. Right now, I am instead of directory A. If I type ls, you can see here directory B. Because instead of directory A, directory B is available. Go inside again directory B. Once if I type ls, you can see directory C. Now, what is my requirement? Instead of this directory C, I just want to create CD again directory C. Now, finally, we have entered instead of directory C. Instead of this directory C, we don't have anything. Here, I just want to create. How can you create a touch? Test file 3. Like this, you can create. Successfully, we have created. Again, I would like to come back by executing one single command cd space double dot forward slash again double dot forward slash again double dot because three steps we came forward here and here and then here again three steps i just want to go back side backward direction again i came back to my normal position control l for clearing the screen next just to type here three command you can see test file three is available instead of directory C. Instead of directory C, this file is available. You can give any name, test file 2, test file 3, whatever you like. But I don't want to follow this kind of process for creating the file. How many steps, how many commands I have executed? CD directory A, and then CD directory B, and then CD directory C. After that, we have created this file. But Right now, my right now my requirement is being in present working directory. That is, is it type and user folder? Being in present working directory, I just want to create one file where instead of this directory C. I mean, I don't want to go instead of directory A, directory B, directory C. Being in this present working folder, I just want to create one file instead of this directory C. Here, you can execute this command. Touch only by with the help of touch very well we can create empty file where you want to create directory C 
Directory C is available where? Directory B. Directory B is available where? Instead of directory A. That is the reason. First, you just type directory A forward slash. Next, directory B forward slash. Directory C. Instead of this directory C, I just want to create. Here, you just give forward slash. What is the file name? For example, test file 2. Here, you have to understand one thing. This touch command is only applicable this test file to touch command is only applicable this test file to with the help of this command we are creating this file that's it middle from here to here this is just a location just a path where you would like to create yes in front of directory C I just want to create that is the reason we have given complete path let me Press enter. Successfully, we have created. If you want to verify, okay, just type three. You can see test file two, we have created. Being in present working directory, we have created this file. That is how it will work. Now, I would like to create one more file where, for example, instead of directory jet, being in present working folder. I just want to create one file instead of directly jet. Exactly same syntax. No difference. Touch. T-Y-U-C-H. Touch. First. Yes, I, I will give permission. Yes, I have given permission. You people tell me the syntax. Directory w slash, directory w slash, directory x slash, directory y slash, directory jet slash. And we can give the any num any name. Sir. Correct. Test file four. Directory V slash forward slash. Directory W forward slash. Directory X forward slash. Directory Y forward slash. Directory Z forward slash. Here we can give any name. For example, test file A like this. Here also. Mm -hmm. This touch command will be applicable only for this test file A. With the help of touch command, we are creating just this file. But middle, from directory V to directory Z, this is just a path. Directory V to directory Z. I mean, where you want to create file. I just want to create that file instead of directory Z. So Z is available where instead of Y. Y is available where instead of directory X. X is available where instead of directory W. That is the reason just we have given complete path right very very simple Hello. all right here you can see let me press enter successfully we have created please concentrate everyone all these commands are very very important after joining the company every day we use successfully we have created now see guys this is empty file correct Anna? test file 2 is empty file test file 3 also empty file and even test file a also empty file everything is just empty file i just want to add some data instead of this test file 2 being in present working directory so how can you do that like this you can do with the help of cat command very well you can Write some data instead of that file. Cat space greater than symbol, greater than symbol. Here, test file 2 is available where instead of directory C. Directory C is available instead of B, instead of B. B is available instead of A. So here also, you just give complete path, complete location. Directory A, forward slash. Directory A, B, forward slash. Directory C forward slash. What is the file name? Test file two. Otherwise, test file three. Yeah, you just observe. With the help of cat command, you can create one file. Otherwise, you can write some data instead of that file. Already file name is available. Already we have created file. That is the reason. Cat command will not create any file. Because already file is available. What it will do simply, it will write some data instead of this test file 2. 
it will write some data here also in this scenario also this cat command will be applicable only for this test file three test file two middle from here to here everything is, that is just a path just a location cat command is only applicable this test file two just press enter here you can write some data some content for example hello test file 2 hello test file 2 after that just press enter here control d control d means saving this file with this content and we are coming out from this file with the help of cat command we have written some data instead of this file like being in present working directory Everything you can do in this present working day. Next, I just want to. Everything is okay. For example, if I type ls, you cannot see anything. Next, if I type ls, you can see only these folders and these files. Some folders, the sub files, it is not possible to see. Just press enter. As of now, you can see something like this. But here, being in present working directory, what is the data which is available instead of this test file to? I just want to know. I just want to see. How can we see? Simple. With the help of cat command, very well you can see. Cat directory A forward slash directory B forward slash directory C forward slash test file 2. That's it. With the help of cat command, we are going to see what is the data which is available instead of this test file 2. Just press enter. So that it will display output like this. This is the data which is available instead of this file. You can write some data. You can see the data. Everything you can do. Control L for clearing the screen. Next, here, yeah. mm. these many directories are available. I just want to create one folder where maybe instead of directory by, how can we create? How can we create instead of directory by one folder? Yes, this command you just follow. Normal command, mkdam. I mean, make direct where instead of directory by, y is available where? Instead of Z, instead of X, X is available where instead of directory W, De W is available where instead of directory B. So you just give complete path directory B forward slash directory W forward slash directory X forward slash directory Y. Instead of this directory Y, I just want to create one folder. That folder name, maybe directory M. M. Directory M where I would like to create instead of directory by. In this scenario also, this mkdir, this command will be applicable only for this directory. For creating this directory, just we are using this mkdir command. Middle, from here to here. That is just a location we have given. Directory m, I want to create, but where? Instead of directory y. Directory by is available where instead of x, x is available instead of w, w is available instead of v. That is the reason we have given complete path. Once if I press enter, that folder will be created. Successfully, we have created. If you want to verify, just type three times. As of now, you can see instead of directory by, how many folders you can see directory m as well as directory z. These are the two folders you can see. Now I would like to copy. I would like to copy. For example, from where to where. Here you can see this test file 2. Test file 2 is available where? Instead of directory C. C is available instead of directory B. B is available instead of directory A. Directory A is available where? Instead of AC2 hyphen user folder. This file, I would like to paste, for example, instead of directory 
y instead of this directory y i would like to paste i would like to copy and i would like to paste that's it first we will see this file i will copy and i will paste after that i will copy this file next first we will do like this file 1 i just want to copy and i just want to paste instead of directory this operation first we will do after that i will do another operation which command we have to use cp for copy file 1 file 1 is available where instead of ec type and user folder i mean here instead of ec type and user folder only you can see file 1 space where you would like to paste directory v directory w directory x here directory y instead of this directory y folder i just want to paste this file that is the reason i have given this location here also this is cp command this is cp command will be applicable only for this file only this file one and with the, with the help of this command we are copying this file from this location and we are going to paste inside here instead of directory y just a present successfully we have done here you can see command command not permitted just so this command is wrong t r e i have given only t r e t r w -E. here you can see what we have done we have copied this file and we have pasted instead of directory by that is the reason you can see file one here now test file 2 i just want to copy i just want to paste instead of directory y very simple this one also cp you just follow that complete path because test file 2 is available where instead of c c is available instead of d directory a forward slash directory b forward slash directory c inside what is the file name test file 2 space directory v now i am writing this destination location directory v forward slash directory w forward slash directory x next directory d i r y here also meaning is cp command will be applicable only for this test file 2 with the help of cp command i am going to copy this file and i am going to paste this file instead of directory y instead of this directory middle from here to here that is just a path where you want to copy which which location you would like to copy and which location you would like to paste this is just a path instead of this directory y it will be paste copy paste we have done. just to verify by executing tree command you can see test file 2 directory y instead of this directory like this next i would like to move move means it is like a cut and paste when it comes to windows what is the shortcut do you know control x and control control x and control i would like to perform Cut and paste. Let's see here. Test file three is available. I would like to cut off test file three. Then I would like to paste instead of directory double. Let's do it. Yamv. You just write that complete path. Directory a forward slash. Directory b forward slash. Directory c forward slash. File name is, for example, test file three. Space. Where you would like to paste directory v? I mean here, this one. Directory v forward slash 
directory double. Here also same. Yumv command will be applicable only for this test file three. With the help of Yumv command, I am going to cut off this test file three, and we are going to paste instead of directory double. Middle from here to here. That is just a path. In which location we are copying that file? That is just a path. Here also. From here to here, that is just a path. Instead of this directory W, I just want to paste. Just to press enter. Yumv means it is like a in this scenario. See, directory W is already available. I mean, destination is already available. That is the reason it will perform. It already perform which operation? Control X and Control. Cut and paste. Once if I execute this command, test file three you cannot see here. Where you can see instead of directory double. Test file three we already cut off, and here you can see test file three instead of directory double. Now I just want to move. I just want to rename. Which file you want to rename? Let's say. I just want to rename this test file to. Yes, very well. You can rename. Yumv in this scenario also Yumv. Directory A forward slash. Directory B forward slash. Directory C forward slash. What is that file name? For example, test file. Test file two. Space. Here also you have to give complete location. I just want to. This is a bold name. This is bold name and new name. Here you can see. Again, here also you have to give complete path. Directory A, directory B, directory C. What is the new name? For example, test file two hundred. See guys, this is bold name. Old name already here you can see. This is new name. New name is not available here. Correct, Anna? You cannot see new name. With the help of Yumv command, Yumv command will be applicable here. Only for this file, only for this old file, only for this new file. With the help of Yumv command, we are going to rename. Old file name with new name. This is like a source. Destination is not available, so this is new name complete. Once if I execute, successfully we have changed that name, changed the file name. If you want to verify, just type here. You can see previously it was. You can scroll up. Previously it was test file two. Now it is. Test file two hundred. Very well, you can change like this. All these commands are very very simple. Next, another just five to ten minutes. I will take. Okay, not more than that. Five to ten minutes of time. Please bear with me and please concentrate. Don't sleep. Some people I observed early morning they sit in front of the computer so they sleep. Even offices also. In my office also, I have observed some of the software engineers. Generally, they try to eat. They eat so much of breakfast. After eating so much of food, what we will get? Obviously, we get sleep. They sit in front of the computer. They close eyes. So here, yeah, please don't sleep, because this is job-oriented course. This is not a tenth class, not a intermediate, not B Tech, not M Tech. If it is a tenth class intermediate, B Tech, M Tech, B Com degree, even if you don't attend, also there is no problem. Let's say tomorrow there is exam. Today night, otherwise today complete today you can prepare. Tomorrow you can apply for that exam. 
very well you can pass many people they do like this correct or not one day they prepare otherwise two days they prepare after that they attempt to that exam obviously you can pass but here this is completely job oriented course each and every command each and every concept is very very important at the time of attending interviews they will ask you everything so you have to remember you have to see you have to observe and you have to practice multiple times it is not like i am typing some commands and i am speaking something you people are just blindly watching observe observe and watch okay. observation also very very important yeah here now which operation we will perform i just want to delete what you want to delete here let's say i would like to delete this test file 3 this test file 3 is available where instead of directory w directory w is available where instead of directory v now i just want to delete being in present working directory did you observe each and every operation we are doing in this present working directory we are not at all entering instead of some other folders without entering some other folders everything we are doing each and every operation we are performing either it could be copy paste cut and paste hmm? everything adding the data other now deleting the file rm minus rf test file 3 is available where directory w w is available where directory v so you just start complete path directory v directory w instead of this directory w test file 3 is available here i am talking about this one i am talking about this directory many people they think once after executing this command everything will be deleted no no with the help of this command this command will be applicable only for this file with the help of this command i am going to delete this file but middle from here to here that is just a location just a path where that file is available instead of directory w let me execute successfully we have deleted now you can see here once if i type three command you cannot see you cannot see instead of this directory w nothing because we have deleted if you want to identify where is your present working location you can execute this command pwd for example in windows if i ask you hey in your windows computer where is your location how can you say how can you how can you tell to some other people for example right now i am here right now i am here let's see man you can do like this once if i put my cursor here you can understand instead of c drive program files folder instead of this program files folder there is one more folder called apache software foundation instead of this folder right now i am available my location is available exactly the same here yeah? you have to execute pwd present working directory or print working directory now i just want to create one file where instead of directory c how can you create with the help of touch command you can create empty file touch directory a directory b forward slash directory c instead of this directory c i just want to create for example hari 51 in this scenario also touch command will be applicable only for this file just press enter once if i type three command here you can see hari file 1 we have created where instead of directory c my current location Present folder is is it hyphen user dot means current directory which is my current directory is it hyphen user folder all these files all these folders are available where instead of is it hyphen user folder next next here here you can see file one file three hundred file four test file one I just want to delete these four files these four files are available where instead of use it if an user folder how can we delete rm minus rf rf rm rm space minus rf 
Next, this is the syntax. Very well, you can follow. File one space file three hundred space file four space test file one with the help of rm minus rf command. I am going to delete all these files. Four files. Just press enter. Successfully, we have deleted. Once if I type tree command, you cannot see these files because we have deleted all. Right. You cannot see anything. Even if I type ls, you can see only folders. Like that, it will work. And one more thing. Just now I have created this file. I just want to create one more file, but I just want to. Before that one, let me delete this file. File one. I just want to delete file one. I just want to delete. How can you delete file one? Is available way first of all instead of directory by directory by is available way instead of x. X is available instead of w. So here w is available instead of v. Rm space minus Rm directory v forward slash directory w forward slash directory x forward slash directory by instead of this directory by what is the file name? For example, file one. You can see this file. Here, in this scenario, rm minus rf command will be applicable only for this file one. With the help of this command, I am going to delete only this file. Just press enter. Successfully, we have deleted. You cannot see now. Already, we have deleted. Now, I would like to delete even this test file too. How can you delete? Exactly same syntax. Rm minus Rf directory B directory W directory X next directory Y. Instead of this directory Y, you can see test file two. I just want to delete. So you just give the name. What is the name? Test file two. Now also Rm minus Rf command will be applicable only for this test file two. Middle that is just a path. Location we have given. I mean, where that file is available. Successfully, we have deleted. You cannot see that file. Just now we have created this file. I just want to create one more file. But I just want to follow different syntax. Mm -hmm. What was the syntax we have? We have given for creating this file. Did you remember? Touch. Directory A is available where instead of the instead of easy type and user folder. Correct, Anna? I mean my present working folder is this folder. Instead of this folder, these folders are available. Directory A forward slash. Directory B forward slash. Directory C forward slash. Then I have given Hari file one. This is the syntax I have given. Either you can follow this syntax, otherwise, even you can follow other syntax. That is, here, just we have given directory A, directory B, directory C. Because right now, my present working folder is easy type and user folder. What you can do, one more syntax is you can, you can start from the scratch. I mean, what is the starting folder? For all these folders, I mean, when it comes to Windows, C drive is a starting location in Windows computer. But when it comes to Linux, what is the starting point? Forward slash. This forward slash we call it as top level root there. Correct, Anna? Top level root there. Even you can follow this kind of syntax. That is, touch top level root directory. Instead of this one, we have one folder called home. Inside this home, instead of this home folder, we have easy type and user folder. Instead of this easy type and user folder, these folders are available. I mean, directory A, inside a directory B, next to here, inside directory C. Now I just want to create one more file. For example, hurry file two. Either you can follow this index. Otherwise, even you can follow this index. This is from the start, 
from top level root area. This is already you are in here. That is the reason you no need to start from the scratch. You just give this location. It will be fine. Either you can follow this first approach, otherwise this second approach. That is up to you. Whatever you feel comfortable. You can use that. Let me execute that syntax. Yeah. So touch. You are using touch. Here you can say as of now only hurry file one. Hurry file two is not available. Let me create forward slash home folder. Instead of this home folder, easy to iPhone user folder. Instead of this easy to iPhone user folder, you can see directory. Instead of directory, a directory B. Instead of directory B, directory C. Instead of this directory C, you can see now I am going to create. Okay. You can do any, for example, hurry file two. Here also, this touch command will be applicable only for this file. With the help of this touch command, I am going to create this file. Middle, everything just that is location. Successfully, you have created. Once if I type three command, you can see. Hurry file two. These two are the syntaxes. You can follow whatever you like. Tree means you can see in a tree structure. Control L means everything we are clearing. For example, PWD means present working directory or print working directory. I just want to go back. How can you go back? CD double dot. One step going back. Going one step previous. Going back to previous system. If you want to go to previous system, you have to execute this one. CD space double dot. Going one step back side. Once if I type ls, this is one folder. If it type one user is one folder. Instead of this folder, whatever the folders, whatever the files we have created so far, everything will be available instead of this folder. If I type here pwd, like this. And top level root directory, instead of this top level root directory, home folder you can see. Now, I will execute just three commands, then we will finish this class. Okay. So here, I can just go back, go instead of use it iPhone user folder, CD space, use it iPhone user. Right now, my location is here. Under top level root directory, how many folders are available? I just want to see, but I don't want to go. I don't want to go to previous systems like this. I don't want to go like this. Okay. I don't want to go. Being in present working directory. Being in present working directory. I mean, being in easy type and user folder. I just want to see how many folders are available under top level root directory. How can you verify? Very simple. Once if I type ls, what you can see, what are the folders, what are the files we have created? What are the folders, what are the files are available? Instead of this folder, you can see. But my requirement is under top level root directory, I just want to see. Then space forward slash. What is the meaning of this command? We will see. Instead of this top level root directory, I mean forward slash, what are the folders, what are the files are available? We are going to see once if I execute. If you want to see under top level root directory, what are the files, what are the folders are available? You no need to execute CD space double dot, again CD space double dot, after that again LS, no. I told you right, everything you can see, everything you can do, being in present working directory. So here, ls space top level root directory. I mean forward slash. Mm -hmm. Now my requirement is this one. I will ask you one question. Okay. You people tell me the answer. Yes, I have given per I have given permission for all of you. Mm -hmm. Before asking question, for easy understanding purpose, even I will create one diagram. 
this is top level root directory under this top level root directory here we have home folder inside this one is it hyphen user folder you will exactly the same way inside under this top level root directory one folder called etc etc folder also i will now i am here i mean here being in present working directory i just want to see what are the files what are the folders are available instead of this etc hyphen user instead of this is etc folder being in present working directory i just want to see how many folders how many files are available instead of etc folder what is the command um change directory no i don't want to change no ls space etc here very very simple ls hyphen lta l space very very don't get confusion ls space etc ha yes correct correct exactly correct ls space what you want to see etc but where etc folder is available Under in root directory root directory root directory simple for example if i don't give you can see under this top level root directory all the details you can see but here my requirement is i just want to see inside etc folder forward slash here you can see etc where here just to give it is that's it simple once if i execute all these folders all these files are available where instead of etc folder this is how it will work see this is the first time you are listening all these commands that is the reason i understand that you people are having so many doubts so many confusion points completely i do agree with you but don't worry all these commands are very very simple when you feel these commands are simple once if you go through this recording video two to three times and once if you practice after practicing all these commands are simple before practicing all these commands are difficult that is generally our human being nature so this is all about our today's class tomorrow also we have class so please do the practice right away i will share this recording video you just go through all these commands you just practice multiple times once after practicing multiple times still if you are if you are having any doubts in our tomorrow's class i will explain do you have any doubts related to our today's class any doubts from anyone no sir no sir no sir no sir Jai Kiran. As of now, just go through this recording video. Okay. You are asking one doubt that, hi sir, we can copy multiple files, multiple folders. See, whatever you do in Windows, very well you can do all those operations here also. You just practice these things in our coming classes. We will see. Okay. Remaining, remaining topics. once after completing your practice you can practice 2 hours 4 hours 6 hours 7 hours even 10 hours no problem you can practice any number of hours once after practicing please to stop your instance you just select and instance instance state just click on stop that's it okay guys sir have a nice day all of you we'll meet tomorrow okay all right will meet tomorrow yes sir no sir thank you sir yeah thanks thanks everyone enjoy your weekend as well as please do the practice